I would say for me, like all paths led to this point. Like I liked, I liked cooking, I liked entertaining, I liked gardening and those kind of things kind of fed into my interest of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to think about it, right? Like who's making booze in the barn and selling in the front yard? <laughs> We were in downtown San Diego, and my husband actually decided that he didn't want to live downtown anymore. And so we came up here and um, looked at property, and then I knew some things that I wanted. Public road, north, south facing, I wanted a well, I wanted an ag meter. Then in terms of grapes and what to do, I joined, uh, there's a local organization of grape growers, I joined them. In terms of winemaking, I uh, literally when we decided that we were going to do this, we were in a hotel because we were kind of going out of escrow. Went on Amazon, ordered every book I can find, I find on Amazon. I went to Office Depot, got a pad of yellow papers. And then I also became friends with one of the winemakers. I went over there every week. Um, they showed me the process for the whole year and then gave me um, some grapes, some old equipment, chemicals, um, started making carboys in the bathroom. We jumped out of the, you know, the proverbial airplane without a parachute. Yeah, yeah we saw our parachute as we're headed towards the ground. <laughs> So I've got a lot of Sangiovese, I've got Merlot, Syrah, uh, Orange Muscat, Greco, Refusco, Nebbiolo, and then in the back we've got Negro Amaro, Del Dogo, Tanat, Tempranillo, uh, Alperina, and Vionnet. So we've got some interesting things coming down the pike. I source from eight other vineyards. We've got this vineyard more in the back. The two that look like they're performing really well in the back are uh, Del Dogo, Negro Amaro, uh, in terms of water, pest, powdery mildew. Uh, I'm looking for something that we can just really uh, dial down the water. And looks like it'll be, but you know what, we gotta see how the wine tastes. I mean, there may be a reason why our ancestors abandoned those varietals. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I honestly do, I like them all and then I keep working. And I will actually put them over into a new barrel or I will do something, you know, I will blend them until I get, so I, until I like it. Cause I'm like, if I don't like it, then I don't want to put it out here, right? Cause I'm the one that has to sell it. I'm the one that has to look at their face if they make a little squishy nose and pour it in the <laughs> dump bucket, right? So I want to do it right. And then, I mean, we've been known as if we don't like something, I mean, we'll, we'll we reopen bottles and reblended and we offer the single varietals and then we also blend and then people like the blends. Uh, so we do those, and then if we've got a really good single varietal, a good barrel, something that turned out good, then we'll do it as for our wine club pickup. Have you lived in this area all your life? Or? No, no, and we lived in the, the opposite. We lived in what's called Bankers Hill, down in Hillcrest. Okay. Yeah, we always joke. You know how you go from Bankers Hill to Ramona? You have to crawl through a wormhole. <laughs> That's how I got but here. But are you are you native Californian? I moved here in '76, which by oh. Southern California standards is native. yeah yeah. <laughs> My dad was in the military, which is I think how a lot of people end up in California. Oh, I love San Diego. I think it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, and you've got everything. I mean, you can go from the beach to the mountains and everything in between.